like uh, Russia uh, as part of the BRICS, is leading the way, and uh, this is a new engine of growth. So let's um, elaborate a little bit further what will happen in the next few months, and how we see uh, the economic outlook. Let me first call on Ilya Panorarev, uh, who is um, uh, vice chairman of the Duma, in charge of um, uh, see, uh, the IT development, uh, the high-tech committee, of course, COCO, to mention one of the buzzwords, and um, to share with us, um, Ilya, your uh, assessment, uh, especially what's happening in the Russian context. Well, thank you very much for your kind introduction. I actually think that, you know, when you're speaking about that Russia is good news, you have to really scare me. <laughs> I think that good news in the current situation is no news. And I don't think that it's uh, uh, perfectly accurate to say that we are only good news, because uh, Russia always gives a very uh, mixed signals uh, to the world community in terms of uh, what is going on in the economy, in the business. We always uh, do something uh, very uh, like uh, impressive, ambitious, whatever, and immediately upset that with, uh, with uh, different other statements and actions by other government officials, which actually getting people confused. And uh, I think that the most important thing which needs to be done uh, in terms of uh, positioning Russia in the uh, global economic community, in the global business community, is try to understand what Russia really is. And uh, I think that very often the expectations for Russia, they are uh, very highly elevated when people are coming. Because I think it's a kind of psychological barrier which needs to be overcome when you are actually coming to Russia. And when you actually overcome this barrier, you really try to convince yourself that it's like a part of a European family or you know, global family, or whatever, which is not true. When you are coming to China, you actually expect that you have to form some local partnerships, that you need to pay somebody, that you, know, you need to interact with the government in a certain way. When you're coming to Russia, you presume that you have to work on the rules which uh, you used to in, in the West, which is not true. But actually, if you accept the rules of the game, there are a lot of opportunities which can be done in Russia. And especially that's uh, in what you perfectly indicated in the world of uh, uh, quickly changing institutions. So there are a lot of failing institutions, especially in the uh, uh, private equity side of the business in the financial world. And actually, Russia can work as a bridge between uh, Western and Eastern economies and uh, uh, play a very important uh, uh, role for businesses which want to enter, uh, enter Eastern markets or from the vice versa, going from Eastern markets to, uh, to the Western markets. And it's not only about geography, it's about intellectual capital, it's about human capital, it's about natural resources, it's uh, about the picture uh, uh, in full. And I think that if we together here sitting in this room We'll actually find a way how to do it, you know, we'll be very prepared. Thanks so much, uh, Ilya. I think a very interesting comment, all saying that Russia could be a bridge. And you mentioned uh, failing institutions. And um, I think it's uh, uh, important to see what kind of institutions we might need in this uh, post crisis world. Maybe let's uh, move our attention uh, to the other part of the point, to the US, and call on uh, Alan Hassenfeld, the chairman of Hasbro. Uh, you know, Hasbro is uh, one of the largest uh, toy makers uh, in the world. Um, and um, uh, maybe reflecting also a little bit what's happening back in the US with a very intensive debate uh, uh, recently on, on the budget. And finally, I think a few days ago, you found a solution, a very last minute solution. Uh, so what about your, your sentiment, Alan? Uh, is the glass half full or half empty? Well, let me back up. Um, being in the toy business and the movie business, uh, why anyone listens to me, I don't know. But I can only tell you that if you get bored here, there are 257 days until Christmas. And you should all go shopping for toys for kids. But as far as the world is concerned right now, I can't. I'm going to a quote. Um, when we deal about the near and long term perspectives in this challenging environment, I found this quote. The budget should be balanced. The treasury should be refilled. Public debt should be reduced. The arrogance of politicians should be tempered and controlled. And the assistance to foreign lands should be curtailed, lest we become bankrupt. People must begin learning to work instead of living on public assistance. 
I don't know if any of you agree with that quote. It was written by Cicero in 55 BC, and I wonder how much has really changed. As far, Frank, as far as some of the things that I'm seeing, um, in the toy business, thank goodness, is a wonderful business which is very innovative. And I think no matter how difficult times are, if you're creative and inventive, you can be successful. Um, the best example of that is the lines that I see constantly for an Apple iPad 2. I mean, you can't even get one in the United States. But we talked uh, in Europe a couple months ago. I talked about the perfect storm.